everybody. Welcome. This is Judith Silverman Hodara at Fortuna Admissions, and I am so happy to be here today with Karen Hamu, who is one of our awesome expert coaches. We're going to talk a little bit today about dressing for the interview. Um, it's definitely a topic that a lot of clients are asking us about this time of year, and we really want to discuss different kind of interview opportunities you might have. Um, some uh, are going to be on campus, some might be informal at a coffee shop, and um, some may even be online over Skype. So welcome, Karen. Thank you. And um, Karen, tell me a little bit about, in your experience at um, CBS at Columbia, um, and also as an alum interviewer in the past, what do you think are some of the most appropriate ways to dress for a more formal on-campus interview? So I think for formal on-campus interviews, you can't go wrong with business formal attire. So what that means for the men is a suit and tie, what that means for the women, um, it can be a pantsuit, a skirt suit. My personal favorite is the dress and jacket combination. Mm -hmm. I think it's a little bit more modern and still appropriate. Um, but I think you can't go wrong in that setting, uh, in, in that attire. Um, I think for the men, sometimes they ask, you know, do I really need the tie? Do I really need the jacket? Um, and some of the schools during the interview day, they have uh, additional events. And if you're not comfortable in your tie, you can always take it off, but you'll be happy that you had it on you. Uh, so I think, I think a suit's always where it's at for the most formal. And can I ask an additional question about that? Um, how about jewelry and facial hair? Uh, I like the air on the side of more conservative. I mean, I think you always want to be comfortable. So if you're really attached to your facial hair, as long as it's well-groomed, it could be okay. But I think when in doubt, it's better just to, just to shave it. It can always grow back the summer before you start business school. <laughs> uh, and by then you have the acceptance. So <laughs> you can't do anything about your beard once you show up at school. Um, for jewelry, uh, I think pretty subtle, muted. The same goes with nail polish. Uh, it's not the time to wear fun colors or dark colors, just uh, really neutral, almost kind of skin tone type of colors, I think make the most sense. You don't want crazy long acrylic nails. You just want <laughs> something really simple. Um, so I think it's important to keep the accessories really subtle. The same goes for shoes. Uh, it's not the time to break out five inch stilettos. Um, practical shoes, you'll be more comfortable that way anyway, uh, but you don't really want to stand out or make a fashion statement. Um, you can have a little bit of fun and still wear on-trend shoes that are also appropriate uh, for a business setting. And what about for a less formal meeting? You know, you're meeting an alum four o'clock on a Saturday in a coffee shop um, or, you know, kind of just uh, maybe um, you know, a community center or somewhere public, what would you recommend for that interaction? Uh, sometimes it depends on uh, the industry background of your interviewer, which you should know in advance. Uh, sometimes the country that you're in could matter. Uh, typically, I would go business casual in this setting, but it varies. So if you come from a country that tends to be quite formal, uh, maybe even just going with the suit anyway, uh, can't go wrong, especially if you're meeting somebody right after work. If you know they're coming from work to the cafe and they might be coming from a formal environment, if your interviewer is wearing a suit, there's no harm in you wearing a suit as well. Um, but typically for a cafe, a business casual uh, attire would be perfectly fine. Um, that means for the men, a dress shirt and dress pants. For the ladies, uh, it can be a professional top with a skirt or pants or again, a dress. Uh, you don't want to show too much skin, so make mm -hmm. sure that those are business appropriate uh, dresses or tops or skirts, right? So not a mini skirt, but perhaps a pencil <laughs> skirt below that. <laughs> right, something you can sit in, of course. And mm -hmm. what about the Skype interview? That's becoming more and more common. Um, sometimes I laugh when I'm ru running simulations and I'll see someone's collection of, you know, Hello Kitty characters in their background, on their bookshelves. Um, can you talk to us a little bit about what you should wear and what the, really the background should be? Um, the background should certainly not be something distracting. It should again be something appropriate. So you wanna make sure there's no uh, posters on the wall that might not be appropriate for the setting. So just something really plain, again, appropriate for a business setting. 
Um, as far as attire goes, business casual is usually fine. Mm -hmm. uh, there's usually no harm in throwing on a jacket on top as well. Again, it might depend on uh, on the setting who you're interviewing with. Um, but typically the rules are the same, and except for shoes, you don't have to wear any shoes at all. <laughs> <laughs> and, but one word of advice if, for those of you that are doing Skype at home, or Zoom meetings is to really check your computer settings, check the lighting. That's something that we always do before we record these sessions. Um, look at your background because you might not know that something seems out of place, right? Until you actually are sitting down and you don't want that to be the first time that you're interacting with the camera. Um, so, you know, something, give yourself a couple of minutes beforehand, make sure the surroundings look okay, make sure, um, you know, for those of you that are savvy about this, that you don't look like a ghost with up lighting. Um, but that it is, you know, showing you literally in a good light. Good Thank point. you so much, Karen. Any other final words for our clients and viewers? No, I think we kind of covered it all. I mean, I think the most important thing is to feel comfortable in what you're wearing while still, again, being appropriate for the setting. Um, but you want to feel like yourself, you want to be able to, again, put your best foot forward. And, and, and that's why it's so important to look your best, because then you feel your best and can present your best to your interviewer. Terrific. Thank you so much, Karen, for joining us for this conversation. Yeah. Such an interesting topic, really. One that we get asked a lot, but I don't think we've ever talked about online. So really glad to have the chance to do that with you. Um, again, I'm Judith Silverman Hodara with Karen Hamu from Fortuna Admissions, and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks.